А стол. Finally, we are ready for the final test flight. We added the landing gear, we changed out the motor thrust angle, and we added a big piece of rudder. We have more control. It's extremely big, but we can always make it smaller. Let's go and fly. I have no rear wheel and the wheels are a little bit too much on the angle. <laughs> well, try this one more time. Well, I got enough rudder control. Yeah, baby. Okay, let's do this. It's safe to go back to the bench and change the wheels, but I don't want to waste the time, so we're going to just throw it out of the hand and do a landing. Yep, I got enough for other control. Yeah, baby. Ah, stall! Wow! Ah, stall! Walk off, Shane! Luckily, nobody sees me. <laughs> oh, this time I really heard it. Ah, broke the entire prop. And then the gear came off. Oh, this seems to be okay. We can glue that back in place. The wing is still intact. That's still intact. Let's see if the rod and elevator still work. Oh no. It's just disconnected. <sighs> Come on, go away, mosquito. That's elevator, but I don't have rudder. Oh yeah, well we have rudder. That's it. And the motor still works. Doesn't sound happy, but let's go back to the bench, fix it again. Now this time I'm gonna put ailerons on it, so I have control on the angle of the wing of the plane all the time because that's that's the one problem that I have. Sometimes the plane is doing weird stuff, and I wish I had ailerons to correct it. So it's not a perfect design, but it's definitely a strong and durable design. <laughs> Let's get back to the bench. Thank you all for watching. If you want to build this plane, you will find all the links and the episodes of the build series down below. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.